Here we go today. We're going to talk about how God has a resource and a provision for every area of your life. But specifically today, we're talking about how he has the team to surround you with. And you're also part of the team for others as well. And I love this because Jesus, the first thing he did was pick a team when he came into his ministry, a team of 12 men, but also these other people like Mary and Martha and Lazarus and these ones who were his best friends. And sometimes they would finance him and help him to go on the journeys and the missions. Others would help serve him in the mission itself and were being trained to also perform and carry the kingdom further when he was going to pass away, which they didn't know that, but that was part of his original plan. God has a team for you. And this is one of the things when we look at God as a provider, and I wrote that book, God the Provider or Provision, Prophecies, Prayers, and Declarations. I wrote this book because I wanted to give you well-crafted prayers, declarations, and prophecies. And you can go through the series right here on YouTube, the first couple of devotional series of it, just so you can get a feel for what it's like. But God has your team, and part of believing and walking on the prophetic journey is to say, God, who is my team? Maybe it's for your spiritual calling or a ministry calling. Maybe it's for your business. Maybe it's for a political career. Maybe it's for your family. I know for my wife, Cherie, when I was traveling so much right when we had our first baby, after about 10 months, she was worn out. She had such a big life where she was managing the business affairs of what we were doing, plus raising this beautiful baby who had colic for over nine months. And so she was maxed out and I was gone, I think 250 days that year. And we began to cry out to God, Lord, what is our support? What do you want to send us to help us? Because we didn't have a lot of resources or finances. And nannies in LA started at like $40 an hour. So we were like, are you kidding me? We can't afford this. And God sent us a good friend of ours who's now like a grandma to our little girls from the church. And she was able to do it at a really good rate for us. And she's believed in our family and became a nanny to us at part time. It was like two days a week and it became a little bit more and a little bit more as we went. And she was the nanny of our girls for like two years. And they still, we just had a FaceTime with her the other day just to touch base because the girls love her so much. We love her so much. Her and her husband are so dear to us. God has a team for you and it's within the lifestyle you're living. And some of you have prophetic destiny projects. Maybe it's a creative project for a book you're supposed to release one day, or maybe it's something in a ministry you're supposed to plant or do something with, or maybe it's a business, whatever it is, God has people who are part of the support structure. And they're not just people who are going to be people you use their services, but sometimes they're people who become part of the covenant purpose of God to you and become part of your life in a real way. That doesn't mean you're besties with all of them, but it means that there's a kingdom rapport that you build with them that's much different than just a working business relationship. There's a mutual honor and a respect and a pouring back. I love watching that. And now, one of my first, first times of really experiencing this was when I was building my own ministry back in 2001. And I remember one of the guys that I had brought from Ecuador and Guatemala to come live with me became my assistant, quote unquote, at the time. He was a terrible assistant because he couldn't he, uh, write in English. He was very, he could speak in English, but he couldn't write in English. But I knew I was supposed to bring him alongside me to help me with uh, the ministry. And I didn't know what capacity. So I just put him in an assistant role because I needed so much help. And he was so helpful around the other kinds of assistant jobs. And within, I think, a year and a half, he became like a ministry partner. And then pretty soon, he was leading with me to the point when he got married, he ended up planting my church with me in LA. And now him and his wife, they lead our church, Expression 58, in Los Angeles, California. But it started with just me believing in him and him believing in me and saying, will you take a role with me? Will you travel with me? I can't pay you a lot, but I will pour into you and I'll give you opportunity. And he said, absolutely. This is, I know I'm called to this. And this team member became a lifelong covenant friend. Now he is one of my best friends. That doesn't always happen, but he is one of my best friends. I remember another time we needed help right when we were thinking about leaving senior pastoring and moving into a season of that was more itinerant. I remember we needed help and I was praying and asking, my team was saying, you need an assistant, uh, you know, for the stuff that's outside the local church when I was a senior pastor still, you need an assistant. We need you to get help because there was just so much going on. And I said, I'm gonna pray and ask God who it should be. And as I was praying, I saw this, a picture of this young man who his wife had babysat for us. And I saw a picture of him. And I said, I'm gonna call this young man. He has been an assistant to a couple of people before. And I'm gonna see if he has any spare time, even five hours a week, because that's about all we could afford. Can you imagine five hours a week? But five hours a week can do a lot if it's the right person. And I, I called him up and left a message and I emailed him and said, would you have any grace? I know you're in a full-time job to do just five more hours a week to help us because we feel like we're about to launch something and we just need help. And he said, absolutely. And that five hours a week turned into 15 hours a week, then 30 hours a week, then pretty soon we didn't even have the money for it, 
but we asked him to come on full time. We said, will you take a step of faith with us to come on full time? You're going to be managing it all. So you're going to have to create finances out of your job within all the stuff that we're doing with our organization and our ministry. Are you willing to do that? And he said, I would love to. And he prayed about it and really knew it was God. Well, he's been with us now for seven and a half years. His name is Jeremy Boutros, who some of you guys get to see. Someone's on our mentoring platform. Him and his wife have an amazing new book out. I would encourage you to get called the, the Ways of Prosperity. It's an amazing, amazing project. And if it wasn't for God bringing us Jeremy and just highlighting to me uh, his face and his name and just what he had done for us in the past, I would have never had the benefit of his partnership in our organization. And he now, I feel like he's my boss in some ways. Like he helps to manage and create projects. He's the one who inspired the podcast. He inspired this series. He's like, I think we need to do some things that are in people's lives weekly where they can just listen to it or view it as part of their normal life, not just traveling. Sean, when you travel, you're with people once a year or once every three years, but when you're with them you know, through a podcast or through a YouTube series, you're part of their growth, their, their spiritual foundation and formation. I think we're supposed to do that. So a lot of the greatest ideas we've had, even on books, he kind of ghost wrote Modern Prophets. He has been responsible for it. I couldn't have dreamed to find someone as gifted as Jeremy, and yet God showed me how to get Jeremy because God has a team for you. And we've been able to contribute back into Jeremy's life, give him some opportunity, but man, has he been a blessing. I think of Steve and Jenny who are right here filming me right now, and Steve and Jenny did John Paul Jackson's show on Dreams and Mysteries with uh, Streams Ministries, and I love John Paul Jackson so much, and we met because of a divine appointment. It was so cool. That's a whole other story we should tell sometime. And uh, they invited me to host some of the episodes of John Paul's. They were keeping the show going for a little while after he had passed away. And so I hosted a few of the episodes, I think four or five episodes. And then I just started to see what we were going to be doing in the future of media. And I invited them to come and do some of our media with us. And they've done basically all of our media since we've launched our ministry. Steve and Jenny have done our e-courses and our mentoring platform and this show and so many things we've done. And it's because God brought us alongside of each other at just the right time to launch us and I hope we've been a benefit of them as well. But I'm going to encourage you that God will bring team to you. And I know we've been a team. I've, I've been an asset. I've been a board member for some people at just the right time to bring the right opportunities to them. And I'm going to encourage you. Maybe you're supposed to be someone's team or receive someone to be on your team. But if you feel like you're without team, if you feel like you're without support, maybe you have that manuscript, that script. Maybe you have that music project whatever it is, and you are without team, I want you to ask God, would you show me people in my life that I am called to invite into an opportunity? Maybe there's not a monetary uh, opportunity. Maybe it's more of just, hey, you've always wanted to be an editor. Do you want to try out my book? Maybe it's somebody who has you know, a gift in some area and you're going to pull on their gift and say, I will do a gift exchange. Here's what I'm gifted at. I'll give you something in this area if it makes sense, if you'll give me something. I know one girl, she asked me to help her with writing her book and she said, I'll give you free babysitting hours. If you'll, you know, for your kids, if you'll help me, just give me direction and coach me in this. And I did that for three sessions and she gave us a bunch of babysitting. So this is something that if you just pray strategically, God can show you how to pull on somebody and, and, how to, and when you're pulling on them the right way, it's a mutual benefit and it also builds a kingdom. And whatever you're building actually is part of their reward in heaven. And I just think of Steve and Jenny and Jeremy and Hona and the different people I've mentioned in this, in this uh, video today. I think of how everything I get to build, they benefit from for eternity. And I get to benefit from what they're building for eternity because we're in a purpose that is a God-given purpose, a God-given alliance. And that's how it works in the kingdom. It's like God looks at it and goes one for you and one for them. And that's why we need that team spirit. And that's part of who God is as a provider, is to provide you every person you need to do the assignment that's on your life so Jesus can ultimately get his reward. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanna encourage you to pray about your team, but also share this with somebody else who is right there in this spot and needs to hear this as well. Also subscribe, like these videos, it helps other people get a hold of them. And also we have great resources at bowlsministries.com. Please come visit us and see the books we have and materials we have. They're going to help you grow. Love being with you today. Have a great one.